Naeem and welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to create beautiful spaces that you want to be in, live in, and love. Today I'll be sharing with you 10 simple and affordable ways that you can get your house fall ready. So go grab your pumpkin spice latte and let's go get it. <music> super duper excited because fall is my absolute favorite season i know i know i can hardly believe that it's here too but aren't you excited about the warm cozy drinks the cozy sweaters the colors that are changing that makes me happy and today we're gonna celebrate fall and we're gonna do that by me sharing with you tips to bring some of that fall decor outside of your home bring curb feel and also bring that same cozy vibe inside so let's not wait any longer let's just go ahead and get started Tidy the landscape. There is nothing that can ruin the curb appeal of your home more than unkempt, overgrown trees. Trim up the bushes, clean up the branches, as well as any other debris that may be hanging around. Your front yard should not look like Tarzan is about to swing from tree to tree. So get my safety glasses on. Can't find them, so these will do. They're cute, hey? And then we're gonna trim, trim, trim. And we're gonna cut, cut, cut. And get her done. Touch up the paint on your door. We should really do this once or twice a year to make your home look fresh and have curved appeal. Clear up all the scuff marks, scratches, and dings with just a touch of paint and you are golden. If you are an apartment or rental, you have alternatives to personalize your door with peel and stick wallpaper, which is really durable and waterproof or even simple wall decals. This is great because there's so many color and design options. Now we're ready to go ahead and get painted. Just a few tools and we're going to get that door. Look at how it's already popping. It's not even fully dry yet. This took me about 30 minutes to do. So easy. You'll see the full reveal at the end, but this is already making me so happy. Planters. If you want your home to stand out, get some planters that have some personality. These I love because the shape and design, it's something that I've never seen and went perfect with my doors. The geometric three-tone design was everything for me. So it was a win. Yay! Plants. This adds a color you'll want to make your door pop. Mums are my go-to for the fall. They are easy to maintain because I suck at keeping plants alive and this pretty much takes care of itself. Super low maintenance. The colors are so warm, vibrant, and inviting. I love that these mums were mixed and had multiple colors which match my wreath perfectly, which you'll see. In lieu of planters and plants, you may want pumpkins and hay. That's totally your call. For me, pumpkins rot and require more cleanup, and hay can get messy. I opt out of that, but it's totally a personal preference. Door wreath. Nothing says fall more than a beautiful wreath. There are so many options and styles you can choose from. Go with something that you love that shows your personality. Doormat. Similar to the planters and the wreath, I go for visual interest. This black and white is large and dramatic. Typically, doormats come at small and a standard size. I add this large one to ground the front door. It looks grand and it's fabulous. Now we layer. We're gonna layer this standard size on top of the black and white. Again, more visual interest. Layers are always a good thing. Check it out. Yes! There, that's the yes honey that I was trying to go for. Yes, honey, fabulous. One more thing, but look at how it's coming together so nicely. I'm so happy, beautiful, beautiful. Festive sign. This sign is simple, rustic, and I got it pretty cheap from a discount retail store. You can get these almost anywhere. It's super easy to put up. And there you have it. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> Fall. Fall is here. And look at how colorful. Look at how it's popping. Look at the sign. Check it out. The rustic sign, we added that. 
that's done and then we have the beautiful planters that's done and the mums awesome and then we have the rug right there and the beautiful wreath now let's go inside who is it oh hey friends it's you come on in Change the tablecloth or runner. You can choose something that you really like. I choose leaves because the colorful leaves is one of my favorite things. You might like pumpkins or other things. You do you. <music> Lastly, festive table decor and candles. I have these two pumpkin glass table decor that I've had for years, and if I'm honest, I keep it there all year round. Because of design, most people don't realize it's a pumpkin, and I can put candles inside, and it's beautiful when it's lit. Classy, simple, and festive. Or you can do a little more. I'll show you two settings. Here we have it. And we add the candles because it adds so much ambiance to any table setting. I like real candles, but if you have children, you can always get the battery operated ones that give the same ambiance, and they're just as lovely. And here's another setting that I did. I have the same few things, table runner, nice mats, decor, pumpkins, candles, and voila, beautiful. We're done! Beautiful, simple, and easy. All you can do in a weekend. Do some or all, whatever fits your budget and gives you the most joy and brings your home the peace you desire. Love, love, love! If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow me on Instagram and hit the bell if you want to be notified when my next video uploads. Bye!